Alright, hello, welcome back to Satisfactory Update 6. This is Maker Gaming and this is episode 48 and we are determined to finish this this episode. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, this is going to look like a mess before it looks better, but just want to see kind of silly to have all this out here, but I think I'm still going to do it. I think our best bet's to center this. If we're even going to use this ramp. Our hero the barrier. That's what we needed. And sorry, bud. How many of these are going to get rid of? Just three? That's fine. Alright. Do we want to pipe this up right now? comes into here. Oil. Oil. Alright, give me a second. I'll get all these piped in too. Alright. So. What do we need to do? Oh, we gotta fix these two. These are all on four. And we gotta start thinking logistics how we're gonna get all these piped underground. That noise is so satisfying. The build noise. They did a good job there. Now what were we saying? We need to get all these outputs that direction to the last four. Alright, so the one we have the least of is rubber. Why don't we deal with that one first? Okay, what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is we put one right in front of this. Nope, that's not right. So we're going to go there, see what... Go noodle. Connect it there. We don't need that. Actually, let's make sure that's a good connection. Don't want any water, any is liquid issues. Now we got to see if this fits. All right, so that takes care of our two 
heavy fuels co or heavy oil residues coming out of our rubber. Now we need the other, what, the other eight coming out for that. Get all this fancy concrete down here. Where no one will ever see it. We don't need these anymore. That's our fuel coming out. And I, I do want to keep the colors as we have them, but under here we'll do this. Color code it down here for fuel. When that was our rubber. And that was our heavy oil residue. Oh, uh, we're going to stay blue up top. So we have the heavy oil coming from this side, going back there, and it's going to continue back here to where we need to load it. So that means for the other eight, we need those coming in from this side. Do we want to go up that high? We will see. Once again, we're just connecting it as one pipe so there's no sort of mishap so it's one two three four coming in on this side other four coming through on that side that works for me line it up one one two one up one there some reason it doesn't want to pick up that single plant, but the others are fine. That makes sense. How about this? Take that. Alright, so if you recall, we actually only need 20 coming out this way, so we're going to do these separate. And hopefully we can replace that and it'll snap in. Perfect. We're only going to have 20 coming out here. Alright, so we have our 20 plastic going out that direction. And we need the same thing coming this way. We have 160 coming out this way. Alright, so this is our last logistics problem, is how do we get the crude oil? And that will need to be split majority coming this way and then what 60 of it going out that way we'll probably end up having that one come into the building split off there and then meeting up with this one too coming out this way so we'll get the full 150 of this one coming this way and then the leftover 90 of that one coming this way that'll be the 240 and that way actually the pipes never full there's never the full 300. Can't afford. Need copper. Alright. I'll stop for a moment then. I'll go get copper when I come back. Alright, so that's our rubber coming out. That's 
seven of our eight plastic coming out. You know what, guys? When I was when I was doing my editing, I realized that that green that I changed to that color is my. Yep. Oh wow, it's not all of them now. So yeah, my tower had those colors. That uh, that heavy heavy oil purple and the green I changed to that new blue. I thought that was the two colors I used over there. Looks like looks like I used two greens over there. So now half of them have been replaced. Does that mean I have another green? No, I must have done a custom swatch that was close to that. All right. I'm a little more okay with it, the fact that it's both of them, but I do have the original green color-coded in the video, so I can always go back. You know what I was thinking? We have this extra space here. What we could do, this could be our storage. So we're going to get it going over there. At some point, we should also put up a smart splitter for both of these. And we will continue the line going down here. We'll set up an awesome sink in this dead space we're going to end up having. What belt are we using? Just a 60. I guess we'll match up top even though we don't need it. So now our rubber is start to finish complete. Plastic, not so much. So this one actually needs two smart splitters. We need one. Ugh out of everything. We need one smart splitter that when everything is good this way it goes to storage and then we need a second start splitter over here for when this is good it will sink. But for that we need this. Can we even make a limiter? Oh, that's right. We needed copper and quartz, copper and caterium. Let's go and do a little bit of that real quick. I'm going to skip a bunch. I don't know how much I'm going to skip. So just in case, let's go over a little bit. We ran our conveyor belts. We ran most of our heavy oil residue out of the plastic. Uh, we need to finish those connections up. We had to go get copper. Uh, we've got all those coming to here, which we can hook up to these two. Uh, we still need to route that. And then those two refineries output fuel, and those are going that way. We've built all this on a bunch of these, and then we're going to take most of them out, or at least the top ones. But I probably spent a lot of time on that, and I don't think I, I want to show it all. So hopefully I skipped a bunch. And then we have two containers here to store excess plastic and rubber. And eventually we'll have smart, um, smart splitters on them that will take the excess to awesome sinks. And I think we're probably going to put the awesome sinks over here since we got a space. How much? Alright, we don't want to make a bunch of crates, so let's empty some inventory. 
Let's get it cleaned up. We are officially out of these materials until we finish this plant. All right, still just getting rid of the remnants of our old stuff. This is no more. And delete all this platform and hopefully we can get something lined up decently. We got this one lined up here. Maybe we can get this other one on the same line. Let's see where that ends up. Close. That might be perfect. And yeah, I think that works. Do double duty. We're only going to be using 300. Do we not have? Yeah, we do. All right, that's maxed out to 150. Well, that's probably too big blue. Alright, so we got those two pumping for the rubber. And then we need to get the rest of it over there. this drop that underneath put that in there this needs to be tripled well two and a half this is all our crude oil going to make plastic Alright, now we have the heavy oil coming into here making fuel. Some kind of awful looking piping. Looks like the graphics are off somehow. Those will actually be making fuel shortly. I just wanted to see the smokestack. What a pain in the ass. There we go. That's us starting to make fuel. That's us already making rubber. Incredible. Why are they different amounts for what they produce in terms of smoke? Most of that pipe now we can kind of see what the shape looks like finished out. All right, will this be our edge? Well, no, because we got to get that completed. Should we see if we remembered it? Yeah, let's check again. We learned this last episode. All right, we want 
go that way. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. So we get that there. Now we've got the finished edge here. That's going to be our shape, whatever that is to work with. And of course, we ran out of concrete, though. No, not quite. We got some stuff right here. Well, we pretty much ran out of concrete. So that would make this our exit. Cleaned up, of course. Just covering these bottoms up. Okay, I just started putting a wall up and then I just kept doing it. Kind of like this look, this severe wall. It's big. Maybe one window. I think I like this. Off center. Put it closer inside. center window so I mean we want to make that our official height another arbitrary decision I like it those don't quite match up All right, we're going to stick with that motif. We're just going thick. See you later, small one. All right, we're doing that same type of wall right here. And we're out of concrete, because of course we are. Alright, we're trying to get a straight front. As you can see, there are some gaps, because of all the different connecting we did off of different angles. So, I'm going to try and straighten that up. Let's 
So that's how off we are. Which means, if we just fix that, let's see. Alright, while I was offline, I, I wasn't thinking about it, and I did some design, so... I've got a lot of that fleshed out, so... I was thinking of making it match on this side. With that, which would just be... That and that, and we're going to put that on the outside edge. We're going to call that matched. We're, we're going to set it to gray, though, to match the concrete. So yeah, I'll show you the design. I was just waiting for the day to come out. It's kind of dark to go over there. Don't know exactly what to do here. For now, we'll try and connect it like that. Something like that. We'll check from the outside later. I realize I like this asymmetrical where we've got a little over two blocks on this side and one block on this side. So I did the same thing where I used a barrier to make a window, but I made it very off center so that this line's here and there's no line over here. Uh, and decided to copy that theme on this wall, so I just made it thick like the other one, but then highlighted this structure with this large window, and then this tree with this smaller window. Then I had this little steel beam to try and cover up a little more of that plant that's in the wall, and just decided to go with it, trace it around the majority of the area, and then added another one, and that's kind of where we're at. So yeah, the structure is kind of done now. I need to move these wires a little bit, added some structure there across there so it looks like these two buildings are connected, and this structure is helping hold up this uh, concrete structure above each refinery. And we still need an awesome sink or two. Probably just one. I kind of like it here in front of the window. Something like that could work. Still need to figure out a front entrance. And the exit for plastic. So yeah, it looks a lot lighter from the other side, and then from this side it looks much denser. Uh, we don't need these right now. So yeah, in summary, I added these braces, I added that window across the top, I added these thick walls, 4 meter foundations going up couple spots didn't line up, so I actually just kept them both because I like this extra just detail. So there's one there and there's one here. And I still have to fix that wall because that's not the pattern we're going to... We're going to go with a simpler pattern. And then figure out this front. I think this needs some sort of supports. Before we can finish it up. No works, but it needs to be higher. Alright, so we got that there. Alright, I think I like that. So 
So we're going to continue with that. So that's easy enough. Get that cross beam and then you can just do that. That looks pretty good. If we want to do that with the beams. All right. Well, we got a little bit more design going. It's looking a lot better though. We're basically calling that done. I'll add an entrance. Ugh. I gotta do something. I think this is a job for half foundation. So I think that works out well. These borders, but I did. Kind of want to do like a staircase here. Alright, I think we're going to try and make stairs by doing something like a road barrier to go out, what, maybe one or two. Say two meters. frame floor we'll say what two all right that's coated concrete now it's not too fancy but it matches that there's a little staircase. We have these blocked off, coated concrete. I think we need to do, let's see. Something like that. We're going to leave this here as an idea just so we don't forget. But I kind of want to take the resources and make a little bridge over the walkway. I can just finish it, I guess. Okay, we're gonna do something here. Start. I, I like this. We're we're pretty much done. Maybe we put a pillar here.
All right, gotta finish that on this side. I'm liking that. We'll do more to the front. Actually, for now, we can do windows. No, we don't have steel beams. All right, I think for now that'll do it. We'll count that as the entrance. I think we might even do a little more work to it. Um, but really, it's just an entryway to the plastic. Um, we still need to set up the awesome sink. And then we need to port the fuel out before it's uh, the machines run without stopping. So I'll get that done. But yeah, we're going to call the plastic build done. We're going to move on. Thank you all for joining, and uh, we're gonna s well, we'll do something different next time on the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.